entire Cayman Islands knows that when we were in government from 2005 to 2009, we did several things to open up government to the people. First, we held our regular press conferences, allowing the media to interact with us and to ask questions, and we did that live. And one of the proudest moments of my life was when we were able to bring the freedom of information law and have it passed unanimously in the Legislative Assembly. That brought a whole new way of being to government. Well, everywhere we go, we hear people are out of jobs and the cost of living is high. The government has added taxation to the people and they seem to believe that they can tax themselves or we can tax ourselves out of a recession and that certainly has been proven to be the wrong formula throughout over the years everywhere that it has been attempted. I believe that what we need to do is first of all to ensure once we are elected that we roll back especially taxes on the gasoline and also the, the import duty which was raised because that has the domino effect and it is only the consumer who pays the excess. When it comes to jobs, the government's responsibility at all times is to create the atmosphere and the confidence that investors will certainly be willing and, and, and look to doing investment which will create jobs in construction industry and in others as we go along. Well, certainly, what is absolutely important for this country at this point in time is to restore the confidence in government. People are out there, Caymanians and foreigners alike, waiting to have confidence to invest once again, because that has been our history. And our first job as the incoming government is to restore that confidence. But in doing so, we must ensure that all systems are in place, that Caymanians reap the benefits of any boom in our economy. The world is now facing the recession as we know, and we see signs that we are slowly but surely coming out of it. Well, first of all, I believe that being an independent candidate is one's free will. However, when one speaks of being an independent candidate, that is only a temporary state of affairs because once somebody gets elected, that person then has to become a part of a group in order to form a part of government and the independence then falls away. If he, doesn't, if he or she does not become a part of the government, he then becomes part of the opposition and that's History has proven that in our Legislative Assembly and all we have to do is to check the facts. So having said that, an independent candidate is only an independent candidate for as long as he or she is not a representative. Well, I am privileged, honored, and always humbled to have been elected to the Legislative Assembly by the people of Georgetown for five consecutive terms. I seek a sixth consecutive term and my record, I dare say, speaks for itself as a representative. I have had the experience of being in government. I've served in many positions as an elected representative. But, but I have to say that what I most look forward to and enjoy is interacting with my constituents and the, the, the fervor is still there, my desire is still there and I certainly hope that people will see it fit to once again return me as their representative and I will only get better.